the amazing Randall. What's up, rascals? Welcome back to Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. And uh, you know, I never even tried to get this, go to this door before. It's just there for show. Fine, whatever. It's not where we need to go anyway. It's stealth mode time. And yeah. I'm in green, so I'll just blend in with the bushes, just fine. No worries, but, uh, you know. These guys aren't completely blind, so I gotta, I gotta play it cool. Cool and slick and not get too close to these guys. Um, yeah, alright, cool. Phase three! Jeebus, that guy's got that guy's on the caffeine. He's a he's a speed walking son of a gun. That's what he is. All right, so uh, we'll, how we gonna do this? Oh, how? Let's just go ahead and meow. Uh oh. Oh, that's not gonna work. Dog, damn it! All right, wait. Come on. Go for it. Go. Move your hiney! There you go! Thank you! Alright, let's go, 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 go! God, these... These guards are absolutely... Like, derp-tastic. They don't hear me. And they can't... They... Obviously can't see me for... Reasons that... Only Buster Keaton could explain. And... Uh-oh. Oh! oh. That was close. All right, let's let's tightrope walk this, nice and careful. I could just drop down and get all those rupees, sneaking stealthily behind him. And uh oh, come on, come on! Oh, <laughs> all right, come on! Oh no, no, no! Oh, you're almost there. Home stretch. All right, cool. Stop screaming. You're in stealth mode. These guys must be listening to some kicking tunes on some beats under their helmets. I don't, I don't get it. How have they not heard him yet? You know, Aaron was right. There is so much god dang waiting. I'm gonna go ahead and get right behind this guy. Well, not right behind him, but far enough behind. Oh, this is the point of no return. Okay, there we go. Yeah, buddy. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, we got another caffeinated b bloke over here. Look at him, Jimmy. Oh, they're both they're both moving pretty good, but uh, one's. Whoa, where'd he go? All right, cool. Cool, cool, uh-huh. Go for it. Go on. Spank you. Let's go. He never saw me. Ha-ha! <laughs> and now, we get to see the princess. Oh, this beautiful, beautiful area. Yay. Excuse me, young lady. Would you like to see my cock? I'm probably gonna regret that one day, but eh, it was worth it. Dumb joke. I liked it. Oh. Oh. Who are you? How did you get past the guards? What's that? Is that a fairy? Uh, y no. I don't know what you're talking about. Never, you always told you to stay in my hat. Sorry, I just, I had to breathe. Then? Then, are you from the forest? No, I just wear forest clothes to, you know, start a trend. Then, then, you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? A green shining stone? Why does everything have to be green? 
Do you have it? Uh, duh. <laughs> Just as I thought. I had a dream, and in that dream there was all this bullshit that I'm gonna start spewing at you that everyone's already heard before, but in case somebody hasn't, bad shit happened, and then some good shit happened, and then everything was happy, and... Yeah. I know this is a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. I don't know what gave it away. Maybe the green tunic that you're wearing with no pants. Letting your dong flop out in the breeze. Hey, I tried to show you my, show you my cock earlier. What? Nothing. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story and didn't even properly introduce myself. All those etiquette classes never paid off. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. You'd never know I was a princess wearing this stupid peasant's towel on my head. Seriously, what is, what is the headpiece? What is this action up here? I, I don't get it. She's got, she's got a, a gold medal stuck to her forehead. What's your name? Oh. You're one of those assholes, are you? Strange. It sounds somehow familiar. Okay then, Rando. I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. Just because, no reason. I trust you for some reason. You have one of those trusting faces. It's not because you're dumb. No. No, that's not right at all. Please keep this a secret from everyone. Alright. I, I can just say that I will. Doesn't mean I will. The legend goes like exposition. The three goddesses hid the Triforce. Really? Because I th thought that they collided in a convergence of space and time and... At, made it by accident. That's what the Deku tree told me. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it will do some bullshit. But if someone evil gets uh, their hands on it, it'll do some other bullshit. That's what has been told. So the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from evil ones. Okay. That's right. The Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the sacred realm from our world. What makes it so sacred? I don't fucking know. I've never been there. But the entrance is sealed with a do stone wall called the Door of Time. And in order to open the door, it's said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. And another thing you need is... The treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarina of Time. Dun dun dun! Why did he feel the need to do that? Uh huh. I don't get it either. Did you understand well the story I just told you? Uh. Well, if you repeat it again, that's gonna cause some issues, so yes. That's great. Okay. I don't... Alright, whatever. I forgot to tell you. You forget to do a lot of things, don't you, lady? I was spying through this window just now. <gasps> You're a peeping Tom! Trying to see some wangerdang? All you gotta do is ask. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds. I believe they symbolize that man there. Uh, what dark clouds? I don't remember you mentioning the- Oh yeah, the bullshit. Will you look through the winch? Will you look through the window at him? Um... You know, you're just gonna pester me until I say yes, so I'll just go ahead. I don't think I've ever said no to that. Maybe next time I should. Can you see the man with the evil eyes? He's the only man in the shot that has eyes. So, uh, so... 
That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudos. They hail from the desert far to the west. They're the only motherfuckers that don't have pointy ears. That's weird. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I'm sure he's not sincere. The dark clouds that covered the Hyrule in my dream, they must symbolize that man. What? What happened? Did he see you? Don't worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning. Yet. But I'm going to spoil it one night when I'm drunk. What am I talking about? I'm just kidding. Never mind. Royals can get drunk anytime. They're royals. They don't care. I told my father about the dream. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. That asshole. He never listens to me. But I can sense that man's evil intentions. He looks at me funny. What Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Ry Hyrule. <laughs> he must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. Well, why else would he come to Hyrule? And he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world. Well, that's what evil bitches do in games like this. What? Nothing. Rando, now. We are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please. Yeah, sure. I got nothing better to do. Thank you. I'm afraid. I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power. But it's fortunate that you have come. Really? Because I'm just a... Ten-year-old kid, what the hell can I do against a grown-ass seven-foot-three adult? We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. I have power too, you know. I'm a princess. Okay. You go find the other two spiritual stones. I'll stay here and... And sit on my musical instrument. You go do all the grunt work. Let's get the Triforce before Ganon does. And then defeat him. Oh, one more thing. Take this letter. I'm sure it'll be helpful to you. Anyone who doesn't help you will... Be executed. I don't know. Royalty's kind of cruel that way sometimes, I bet. You received Zelda's letter! Wow! This letter has Princess Zelda's autograph! I'm sure some asshole would take it and sell it on eBay for an overinflated price. Alright, bitch. I'm outie. Oh, God. This bitch gonna crush me with her thighs? Uh... You look hotter than your original iteration, I'll give you that, but... I am Impa of the Sheikahs. I am responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is as exactly as... Everything is exactly as the princess foretold. How I know this shit, I'll never tell you. But just believe me. You are a courageous boy. You are heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? Well... Duh, lady, that's the whole point of an adventure game. My role in the princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. So obviously I don't really mean much. In the grand scheme of things, I'm absolutely useless. I just sit here. I'm, I'm an over-glorified babysitter with kung fu skills. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I have played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There is a mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. Alright. <sighs> Sorry, this part's boring me a little bit. But the rest of the game, I love it. Haha. <laughs> Um, right, right, that, I meant to do that. <laughs> I 
Whoa! I played that? Holy shit! When did I get music skills? Fuck this adventure shit, I'm gonna start a band! If the castle soldiers find you, there'll be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle. Or I could just knock them all out with my kung fu skills. But, you know, this'll be easier. You brave lad, we must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, home of the Gorons. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. Alright, what do you want me to do about it? At the foot of Death Mountain you will find my village, Kakariko. That is where I was born and raised. Okay. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up the Death Mountain. The song I just taught you has some mysterious power, like I said before, but you know, I don't think you were listening, so I repeated it. I could also tell you that I use my penis as a pogo stick. That's how I get around. What? Nothing? I thought you weren't listening to me. Only royal family members are allowed to learn this song. So, they'll be shocked as fuck when they learn that you've learned it. Remember, it will help to prove your connection with the royal family. Yeah, that's the excuse. The princess is waiting for you to do all the bitch work while she lays, lays around and sits in comfort in her big-ass castle. Alright, we're counting on you. Huh? Where did that bitch go? So, shall we adventure to Kakariko Village? When I was younger, I had a hard time pronouncing it. I mean, I wasn't that young. I was like 11 or 12, probably, but I always mispronounced it as Kakiriko for some reason. I didn't see the other three syllables. I don't get why. But anyway, up we go! Cutscene! Stat. Look at you. Kakariko Village is so pleasant and peaceful. Hello, random ass soldier guarding a town. What do we got here? A cuckoo? I got me a cuckoo. Yay! Chicken dinner tonight. Oh wait, this is somebody else's probably. All right. Hello. Mr. Fancy Pants Carpenter Boss. I'm the boss of the carpenters that Impa hired to improve this village and make it into a true city. But young men these days don't have any ambition. Do you know what I mean, kid? My workers are all just running aimlessly around the village. They're not making any progress at all. You know, as the boss, I should probably do something about that, but I'm just as lazy. I'm just not going to point it out. I'm just going to stand under this tree and bitch about how lazy my employees are. Even my own son doesn't have a job, and he just wanders around all day. They're all worthless, I tell you. Thanks, mister. What was I supposed to actually do up here? Probably, oh wait, you know what? But don't Hello? Somebody, hello! Oh my god. You know, I'm just gonna leave you be. Huh. All right, up. Oh. oh, that's right. We need to get that guard to open the gate for us so that we can, uh, Go up Death Mountain. Oh, this isn't even the right way. That's up to the graveyard. Um, up here. That's where we need to go. That's right. I remember things slowly, but I still remember them eventually. Ha ha! Hello, good sir. What are you going to bitch about? Oh, uh, the road is closed beyond this point. Can't you read the sign over there? I came straight to you, how could I read something like that? 
Eh? Oh, I see, you're just a kid, and you can't read yet! <laughs> you know what they say about assumptions, right? You're an asshole. How about this? Oh, this is... This is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Well, let's see. Hmm. Okay. This is Rando. He is under my orders to save Hyrule. <laughs> what kind of funny game has our princess come up with now? Okay, okay. I'll I'll open the gate for you just so I don't get the axe from that bitch. How do you like that shit? All I gotta do is smack my spear on the ground and it opens. There's no automation in this world, but that happens. Oh, by the way, Mr. Hero. If you're going to climb Death Mountain, you should equip a proper shield. That bark bullshit's gonna burn right up, and you ain't gonna protect yourself from nothing. If you get back to Hyrule Castle Town Market, you should check out the bazaar. They sell the shield you need there. Oh, and tell them I sent you, and they should give you a special discount. Yeah, right. Why'd this accent come from all of a sudden? Why does everyone go into a Jersey accent? Or maybe this is Boston, I don't know. If you think you're good to go already, don't worry about it. Now, I'd like to ask you a favor of you. I just met you, but I'm still gonna make you do some bitch work. So, whatever. Have you been to the Happy Mask Shop that just opened in Hyrule Castle Town Market? Everybody's talking about it. Blah, 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 blah. Everybody's just a chatty Cathy in this world. The fuck? Uh, Keaton mask. Yeah, mm hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. Right. All right. Well, now we can progress up the mountain after I go get a shield, which we'll do in the next episode. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this one. If you liked it, let me know by giving that like button a bop. Leave some comments down below, and I will see you in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze.